with NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight is Doris Burke. It's Western Conference NBA action, the Memphis Grizzlies here at home. It's going to be the Jazz off the tip. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. So on the floor for Utah, Favors and Gobert are the shot clocking duo inside. Exum and Hood are the young guard tandem, and it's Hayward in at the three spot. Now we know the Marcus All was one of the most sought after free agents this past summer. Clark, all along, most figured he'd be back in Memphis. Yep, a winning team, max dollars. And don't forget now, he went to high school in Memphis while his brother Powell played there. He's where he belongs. Marcus That's Saul good. The shot. That's the Grizzlies first basket. On defense, the Grizzlies. Exum kicks to Favors. Favors with a screen on Allen. Here's Hood. Just four to shoot. From downtown, the shot is off. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Randolph kicks to Conley. Randolph a screen. And it's Conley penetrating. Wing shot on the way. Gobert pulls it in. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And Allen with the block. Hayward against Conley. Kicks it out to Parsons. No one near Conley as he lets it go. From the top of the key, he buries it. For Utah, they've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Gasol against Gobert. Hayward goes in. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Utah was so tough near the end of last season, Greg. Uh, they weren't going to make the playoffs, but they did give other teams some trouble. Uh, that's a great point. And, and how about going 19 and 10 after the All-Star break? Uh, another team that would have been in the playoffs right. if they were in the East. And so it's Utah here with the ball, following the miss by Chandler Parsons. With some arc, Hood gets the bucket. And this game is tied up now. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. And, you know, for the Jazz, you mentioned their post-All-Star break surge. I mean, that 19-10 and 10 record they had after the break was good enough for sixth best in the league. Rebound, Utah. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Exum kicks to Hood. They get it again, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Man, I don't know what happened right there. He just basically walked out of bounds. Some changes for Memphis. Wright is checked in for Randolph. Carter comes in for Parsons, and it's Harrison in for Allen. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Morris Diaz checked in for Gobert. Johnson comes in for Derek Favors. Burks, he's checked in for Rodney Hood. And it's Hill in for x -Men. And really, the Jazz were a team nobody wanted to play after the break. They were over 500 against the rest of the West and had some big wins over playoff teams in the process. Now, here is Hill. And it's Wright sending it back. To the middle, here's Carter. He draws iron on the dunk. Jazz have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Here's Johnson. Another miss by Utah. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Casal's shot is good. Jazz trail by four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Here's Burks. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. 
The Grizzlies have gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Conley kicks to Gasol. Passes it to Carter. Memphis moving it around. Conley dishes to Carter. Trying to find right. He's got it now. No luck. The Jazz go the other way with it. Here's Burks. Good work defensively by Conley. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Pass to Harrison. Outside Conley. Good looking screen by Gasol. Conley gets to Gasol. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. And so the first quarter is in the books. Grizzlies lead by four. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Uh, we feel like we're a team that's had to go through a lot of adversity. We've been through a lot of things that's, that's set us back. You know, we feel like we can be just as good as anybody else, and, and why not us? Went through. Can you make a case that it just made them tougher, or did it really take something out of them? You know, Kevin, it's really hard to say. A, a tough break, obviously, uh, losing Mike, and I mean that literally as well. But, but yeah. their problems did set them back, and maybe they can be just as good as anybody else, but until they are, they're going to have some issues. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And taking a look at the Grizzlies' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Not much room to operate offensively. The defense has been stifling through the first. Greg, they haven't given up a lot of easy chances at all. Martin is out there with Wright. Then there's B, then there's Carter. And it's Ennis in at the three slot. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. The defense to start and ignite that play was terrific. And I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. And really look for them now to be even more aggressive on the defensive side. Try to come up with a few more steals. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Exum, he's checked in for Alec Burks. The Grizzlies shooting their first free throw of the night. Well, I tell you, the Grizzlies guys were really dominant in the first half of the season last year. But after the All-Star break, barely played above 500. Count the bucket. Gobert's got his first basket of the night. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should continue to work the ball down low, Clark. It's really going to free up their outside shooting. Carter outside. Martin with the screen for Carter. To the inside. Off the pick. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. And we all know Utah is a very young team. Last year, only the 76ers were younger. Still very competitive given the age and the lack of experience from this group. Clark, an interesting fact about the Jazz and their age last year. At one point, they didn't even have the oldest starting five in the state of Utah. Now mm. think of this. The starting five of BYU, Greg and I were just talking about this, had an older average than Utah did. Yeah, amazing. You look at the ages of Exum and Gobert and Favors. Makes sense that that would be the case. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. They're all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Marcus Earls checked in for Martin. Allen comes in for Troy Daniels. And Mike Conley subbed in for Pete. Michael Conley with excellent vision on that pass. Gobert the screen. Here's Hood. He's got eight. The pass to Exit. Here's Favors and misses it off the right side of the rim. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. Here's Conley again, Memphis. Obviously, a mix up defensively on that possession. Jazz trail by three. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. 
Now, here's Exum, defended by Allen. Six to shoot. Exum kicks to Hood. That's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. Boy, I tell you, I thought the Jazz had a big year last season. Looked much tougher than before. A big part of that is how Coach Quinn Snyder helped the team grow. I mean, he looked like a perfect fit in his first year with the franchise. Looking at who's out there now for the Jazz. Johnson comes in for Gobert. And Gordon Haywards is subbed in for George Hill. Here's Randolph. Utah with the rebound. Favors has got three rebounds so far in the game. You were mentioning the Jazz, and they grew last year under coach Quinn Snyder in his first year. You know, Greg, he did the same thing with teams when he was a coach in the D-League. That's a great point, Kevin. And beyond the growth that the Jazz showed, I think everyone in Utah was pleased with the style of play. I mean, Coach Snyder's got the team back to playing hard defense and really grinding out wins. So timeout call here. The first for Memphis. You know, as I watched Derek Favors last season, he continued to develop his offense. He was a big, unpolished athlete coming into the league, had some conditioning problems, but now it seems like he's on track to be a force as a power forward. Morris Diaz checked in for the Jazz. Stolen by Exum. Pass to Johnson. Hayward on the wing. Diaz with a screen on Allen. Hayward kicks to Exum. The three-pointer no good. Talking about Derek Favors, his points per game average went up last season as it is done in each of his six seasons in the league. He's a, an ascending player. He has, you know, definitely refined his moves down on the blocks. And, and he's also become much improved at passing out of the double team, averaging a career high in assists last season as well. The, the arrow is certainly pointing up for Mr. Favors. Johnson with a screen on Allen. Here's Hood off the left rim and out. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've been, I like the movement and communication there. Exum passes to Johnson. There's 42 seconds left in the first half. Parsons comes with the double team. A shot by Hayward, wide open. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Hayward's got five now. That was big, because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the knots out, but it looks like they're putting it together right now. Exum dishes to Diaw. Hayward against Parsons. Kicks it out to Johnson. Grizzlies with the rebound. Allen outside. He feeds it to Randolph. And here's Conley outside. The shot no good. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Grizzlies out in front.